Hello Bulldogs! In today's tutorial, we demonstrate how to select a room and assign a roommate during an online room selection appointment time in the doghouse. This step takes place after a student has registered for on-campus housing at the University of Georgia, paid the non-refundable $35 registration fee, and created a roommate group, if they want the option to choose their roommate ahead of time. Prior to logging onto the doghouse, we received a notification to our UGA email account with the date and time of our online appointment to select a space in the doghouse. University Housing sends weekly notifications about upcoming appointment times. This is why it's a good idea for students to check their UGA email regularly, so they don't miss out on important updates related to their enrollment at UGA. It's officially time for us to choose our space. Today, we're impersonating a fictional, male, incoming first-year student named Q. First, we expand the menu in the top left corner and click on Register for Housing. Next, we continue our registration for the appropriate academic term. At the top left of the screen, we see a checklist. Everything above the Select a Room step should already be complete. Right now, we're just focusing on selecting a room. On the Select a Room page, we scroll down past the written instructions. Those instructions are what we're covering in this video. This section typically includes housing updates for the upcoming year, so make sure to give it a glance before you choose your space. In this section, the doghouse shows you all the rooms available to you across campus. Depending on when you have your appointment time, there may be pages and pages of rooms, or there could just be a few from which to choose. Using the filters on the left makes searching for a room much more efficient. The doghouse updates in real time. So when you log in during your appointment time, the list you see in front of you is an accurate list of available rooms. You should choose from what populates in front of you. On the left, we can filter our search based on room type, areas, and locations. The filters will adjust room availability based on what is clicked. For example, let's say we are only interested in searching for rooms in Russell Hall, one of our high-rise, first-year only residence halls. We click on Russell Hall and we can see the room type changed, so it only shows the style of rooms that are available in Russell Hall. For example, Double in Super Suite disappeared since there are no rooms of that style in Russell Hall. University Housing has a variety of room types and configurations. If you'd like to familiarize yourself with the various room types available, please visit our glossary, linked in the description below. If you log into your account and don't see certain rooms or room configurations, it means other students have already chosen them and you should choose from what's in front of you. We want to live with our roommate Harry. The little number 2 next to the bed symbol indicates that in room 1043 of Russell Hall, there are two beds. But, it does not tell us if both of those beds are vacant and therefore eligible for selection. In order to see if the beds are vacant, we must add the room to our cart. You can add up to two rooms to your cart at a time. We select Russell Hall 1043 and 1044, scroll down, and select Save and Continue. The rooms we add to our cart will remain in our cart for 10 minutes. We can see Harry is showing up as our roommate but when we click on the Select Bed tab under Q, it only shows that Russell Hall 1043B is available. This indicates in room 1043, there are two beds total, but only one is available. The other bed has already been selected by another student. If we wish to room with Harry Dog, we need to choose room 1044, because it has two available spaces, both A and B. Now let's pretend that neither of these rooms had enough available beds. All we do is press the back button in the top left corner of our browser window, remove the rooms from our cart, and continue searching for rooms by adding them to the cart and checking the bed availability. Let's go back to our original selection. It appears room 1044 has enough spaces for ourselves and Harry. So we assign ourselves to bed A and Harry Dog to bed B. Once all roommates have been assigned to beds, we click Assign Beds. Then we double check to make sure everyone is where they want to be. When we're ready to move forward, we click Save and Continue. And at this point, we have both been assigned to beds in the same room in Russell Hall and can no longer search for rooms. Once we see the Booking Success Wait for Contract page, click Continue. 
we should now let Harry Dog know we have reserved a space for him. Harry should log onto the doghouse and click My Details to view the reservation. If Harry does not see the reservation after consulting with Q, he should contact University Housing immediately. If Q did not assign Harry to a space, Harry would need to wait for his own appointment time and choose for himself. In the coming week, we can expect an email from University Housing with our contract for the upcoming year. All students are expected to read their contracts, ask any questions if they have them, and execute their contract online by the deadline stated in the email. Students should check their UGA email regularly so they do not miss the contract deadline. Failure to complete the contract by the deadline may prevent you from registering for classes and may result in reassignment. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. This helps other students find our videos more easily. Subscribe to the University Housing YouTube channel to stay up to date with tutorial videos and student life content.